here we are out here today. Uh, I have a, uh, a big dog house coming. So uh, the guy said he'll be here in just a few minutes. So I'm out front just so he knows where to go. But uh, hopefully he'll be coming from that way. Not sure. He could be coming from that way. It's easier to get in that, in that way off of Campbell. But he's probably coming from this way in town. You know, it's just a dog house. But he's got to go in through uh, uh, back in the fence. Oh, here he is. All right. Here we go. All right, look at that big thing. It's pretty big. <laughs> That's pretty big. Nice. Awesome. Missed some of moving it back through uh, this area, but you can see the tracks. Man, he just—he did a good job. He just rolled right back. This guy knows what he's doing. So here's the doghouse here. So now move out of the way so these straps don't. That looks like he's already got them. See if he gets it up in the air like the other one. No, all right, that one does not weigh as much as the other one for sure. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. All right, let me see if I can get a thing under it.
made it look easier than the last rollback guy, that's for sure. Very cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you know, it's camouflaged. My wife will never know it's back here. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the yard. Sure you can, sure you can. Okay, I got my bucket. My truck bucket. Four, three. Won't take much tension. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if I do this right, my neighbor will never know that I cut his fence all to hell and pulled it down. So let me put this um, camera down here. He'll never know. I mean, I'm going to zip tie it. There's no way he'll find out, right? We'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. Zip tie, zip tie. Zip tie, save your life. Neighbor won't kill you. <laughs> Look at these puppies. Look at them puppies. Get that water. What are you doing? Get that water. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I love you, puppies. You're so good. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Get that water. Get it. Yeah. Hey, hey, everybody. So my uh, new doghouse was delivered yesterday. Um, it's a eight by eight by twenty. It's just a standard um, container. Uh, these are, you know, they're stackable and everything, um, but. I like these because they're uh, they're insulated. They're not your standard um, shipping container that you would get. That's just uh, the corrugated walls. Uh, this is, uh, you know, these are engineered. They're heavier. Um, these are upwards of 5,000 pounds. Um, it's supposed to be like 4,300 pound tear weight, but um, always watching the rollback guy come uh, drop drop off one of these is uh, is like yeah, that looks like it weighs a little bit more. So, and these walls actually uh, come down. So the whole side of the wall uh, just comes down. So I really have never taken a wall out of these. Um, you know, brand new, look, these were like $25,000 new and you can get them for, you know, definitely less than a couple grand. Um, I paid a little bit more on this one than I should have. Um, my, it seems like my Gickner I got for like 600 bucks and this was more like 1500 bucks but then you know taxes and fees adds up and then you have to have it delivered which is typically three to four dollars a loaded mile um, especially on short distances you're not getting any break on the loaded miles anyway um, it's really cool it's got the uh, uh, dog house door already in it get out of there John John <laughs> see the dog house door right there I mean this whole side wall comes out for a big opening, but this little door is really an escape hatch. Um, you can see the piano hinge is messed up on it, so I'll have to re-rivet that or, you know, or, um, or drop something in it, weld it or something. But um, chances are I will just leave that uh, open with a flap for the dogs, and I'm gonna move this stuff around in the yard a bit. Um, anyway, so uh, my yard's a, a little bit 
tough to get into so the rollback driver came through the fence right over there to the left of the white water container and um, then just barely made that corner because he had to back it up you know it's 36 37 feet um, uh, on his rig and so he had to barely make that corner and then came back and then was able to drop it here he probably could have dropped it you know closer to where I wanted it but really it's a big pain to do that over here so uh, these are pretty easy to move, um, I imagine, in my head. <laughs> so, uh, I did try to move it yesterday. I moved it like three inches just with one of those big sticks. Um, so, today I'm going to actually put this uh, three-ton floor jack, um, uh, it's a low-profile racing jack, under like the far side. So, when I jack it, uh, or sorry, when I leverage it with a stick, then it moves a little easier than yesterday, which was pretty easy. I mean, three inches and... You know, it took like 15 20 seconds so um, this should make it even easier so let's find out okay let's uh, see how easy this is to move we're gonna put drop this one uh, John John come here I'm gonna drop this on one of the Really tight under there.
Yeah, that's a little further than I wanted. I'm going to scoot the back end back around. So it's straight. Look out. This thing's so heavy. Oh my gosh, this jack is so heavy. Why is it so heavy? Let's see how that is. Okay. Oh, look at that. I think that's where I want it. Then I just have to um, put those beams under there a little bit. This side's fine, but I don't want somebody tripping on um, these over here. So this one's got to go back through, which means I got to pick up that other end. I'm all set um, you know these things that they're just really big you know but they weigh just as much as a car I mean that's it so it's not like it's a lot of weight but I did notice a couple things while I'm moving it um, versus a regular shipping container uh, this thing does not flex as much um, so when I was jacking it just on the one uh, one side there was not much flex. I mean, you could tell there's some flex, but nothing like you would expect um, in a little uh, metal tin can. Uh, this is just a little bit more. Also, I noticed that they did have this sidewall out before. So I, I need to find out how much this weighs because, um, oh, let's see, where is it? I put this one in just now, um, just hand tight. But you can see that some of these are are out um, so you know I, I really want to know how much does that weigh um, is this an opportunity to have a, a, a deck you know on there um, also do I really have it straight because there's so many leaves out here right now that I can't tell 100% uh, that it's uh, straight on the concrete pad um, <laughs> I think it's really close, but I don't know how close. Let's see if I can show you the top here. There's the top. Probably some sticks or something up there. Um, anyway, I think maybe if I figure out this sidewall, it is an opportunity to have an automatic door that comes down uh, if I can do that safely. Um, and then it's a big open workspace, so that would be kind of a cool hangout. Um, i got to put the zip line back up. Nobody's used it in a year. I mean, where does the time go? Um, anyway, that's it. Later.